How you doing Facebook? My name is Andre Pfizer. I'm in the midst of a personal coaching class right now, but there was such an awesome connection of spirit with me and my student. I had to share some of this stuff with you. It's like whenever I feel this, I have to share it with you and everything. You all right over there? I'm not, okay, I see you I'm doing, I don't know what you're doing over there. You need, to, you need to calm down. I don't know what all you're doing over there and, and you need to cut it out because it's making me uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable here. But yeah, we were just talking about vision. It was just a flow. And whatever you give your attention to, it comes alive. I want you to know that whatever you give your attention to comes alive. Whatever you give energy to comes alive, whether it's good or bad. Whatever you give focus to, if you give energy to worry, worry comes alive. If you give energy to doubt, doubt comes alive. Whatever you give focus to begins to live. Whatever lives has attention on it. Whatever is alive has attention on it. Grass uh, is alive because we have landscapers. Trees are alive because we have tree workers. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's probably not what they call, but uh, you understand. Everything that's alive has someone else's attention. So if worry is alive, somebody's the boss of it. And if you want something to lose its job, you have to take the attention away from it. Do you guys understand? My client is holding my phone. So do you guys understand? Yeah, y'all are watching me. You understand? Whatever is alive has attention on it. And if you want it to die, you have to take attention off of it. If you want your grass to be alive, there's someone who's cutting it. Every nice yard has a landscaper. Every nice yard has a landscaper. Every nice field has a farmer. Everything that has life in it has somebody tending to it. You see, so worry is alive because someone is tending to it. Fear is alive because someone is tending to it. Doubt is alive because someone is tending to it. Poverty is alive because someone is attending to it. Wherever your attention is, is alive, whether it's good or bad. You feel me? Whatever your attention is on is living. You understand? And so we talk about sometimes, and even with vision, I'm just giving you some pointers. Sometimes we choose what's already there instead of creating our own. When we were coming up, instead of choosing and creating our own career, we looked at the careers that were already established and went to school to join the jobs that already existed. And sometimes we're frustrated because we are connected to things that are not our passion, but it pays us money. And we go to school so we could multiple choose uh, to it, multiple choose against everything that's already there and those are our job options and so we pick a certain job option that's already established by somebody else instead of having the courage to say you know what I'm going to create for me where my attention is located you can create for you God didn't create you here to pick and choose what was already here and you just say I'm going to be one of these things that already exists Masters create from what does not exist, and they live from things that don't exist. They live from what they see within and not what they see without. If you're going to be a visionary, you have to learn how to create from within and not seek things that are without. Because your happiness is already located in you. But we ignore our happiness and we don't pay attention. Had a call, I'm sorry. We don't pay attention to what was in us. And so, therefore, we live from things that we see outside of us. Can you guys see me? Let me see. My job is what I love. That's right. That's right. So, that's the thing. Vision is creating a slot for yourself. Vision is learning how to create a slot for yourself. That's what vision is. You feel me? Vision is creating a slot for yourself. It's saying, this is what I'm going to pay attention to within me, and I'm going to make it live outside of me. Vision is, I'm paying attention to something invisible in me, and whatever I pay attention to comes alive. So how many of you are paying attention to what's within you by a show of hands? By a show of hands, how many of you are paying attention to the thing that's within you? How many of you are paying attention? And you listening to me. I'm still talking to you. I'm talking to them, but I'm talking to you. Okay, you're making me uncomfortable and stuff like that. You're making me really uncomfortable. Y'all... <laughs>
You understand what I'm saying? Vision is paying attention to what's within so it will, so it will come alive outside of you. Wherever there is a nice yard, there is a landscaper. You see, whatever is paid attention to is groomed. You understand? If you haven't created your own job, you didn't pay attention to yourself. Am I making sense? Mm -hmm. Tell me I'm making sense. You're making sense. You better know yeah. it. You better ask me. I'm a mundra. What's my name? Andre Fazer. Andre Fazer. That's, I make sense. Because I post it. If you hadn't created your own career in your own life, it's not the devil. Mm -hmm. You didn't pay attention to yourself. God created us to pay attention to the garden of who we are. Eden means paradise. And God put man in the garden to pay attention to it. You see, your own life is your garden. You have to pay attention to it. If you don't have what you desire, you're not paying attention to yourself. Whatever you pay attention to is a lie. Do you guys understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So you're not obligated to choose amongst what's already in the atmosphere. You don't have to choose everything you see. You can choose what you haven't seen and make it come to pass. You have to learn how to choose what you have not seen, what, what's not in the world. You understand? I can only create the work that made me happy, and this is what made me happy. It's not a matter of how can I get some money do it, mm -hmm. to do it. It's like, how can I be employed by myself? Mm -hmm. What do I have that I can employ myself with? What do I have to pay attention to and make come alive? And that's where you get your strength from, paying attention to your dream and making it come alive. Sometimes it's no, you can't go to the bank sometime and get a loan on doing you. Sometimes you can't get a loan on doing you. You have to pay attention to yourself. Whatever you pay attention to comes alive. Once again, uh, every nice yard has a landscaper. Every nice yard has a landscaper. Every nice yard has somebody that's cutting it. Every nice home has somebody that's taking care of it. Whatever you pay attention to is alive. And if you're paying attention to doubt, that's alive. If you're paying attention to limitation, that's alive. If you're paying attention to poverty, what's up, Sylvia? With, when you're paying attention to doubt and poverty, that's alive. If you're paying attention to somebody else's lies, that's alive. If you're paying attention to how somebody's looking at you, that's alive. Because I'm not going to do it because you looked at me funny. Well, it's just a look. But if you pay attention to it, you make that look your enemy. Mm -hmm. You you better watch yourself. You better send an offering to you. You better send an offering. The more you say teach, the more you have to pay. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So what are you paying attention to? You're not obligated to connect to things that were already in existence. God gave us all the power to pay attention to what's within us and make it alive. You got a company within you, pay attention to it. It might be your time. If you got a company within you, pay attention to yourself and make it come to pass. Pay attention to yourself. Mm -hmm. And before I get out of here, how many of you are paying attention to yourself? Mm -hmm. Because when you pay attention to yourself, you come alive. Not when you pay attention to what people are saying about you and not when you're paying attention to other people's doubt concerning you, but when you pay attention to yourself, you come alive. Something comes alive. Wherever there is a nice yard, there's a landscaper. Wherever there is a master, there is someone who's paying attention. When, wherever there's consistency, it means you're paying attention. You following me? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, this is your class. I'm just sharing it with the world. Yeah. You're just paying for it for them. Y'all <laughs> owe her money. You're welcome. Yeah, you say you're welcome. Y'all better owe up. Vision is creating your own slot in the world. Sylvia, you you creating your slot in the world. Yeah, Bridget, I know you're creating your own slot in the world. It means it's not here. What I want isn't here, so I got to create it. See, sometimes we're frustrated because we're trying to live in what we feel in something that's already here. And you can't live what you see in something that's already here. You, you can't live your dream in something that's already here. That makes you sick. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to live what I see in something that's beneath what I am. And it makes you sick and it makes you sweat and it makes you late because you're afraid to bring out of you what was already in you. Come on, guys. Whatever, Hey, Robert, whatever you see in you, God made it so you could pay attention to it. 
And the problem is we don't want the responsibility and the discipline of paying attention to ourselves and making our own trees grow. Mm -hmm. We try to live off of somebody else's used trees. Mm -hmm. And maybe God want to give you a fresh tree to live off of. Maybe once he may want to give you a fresh tree to live off of. Make it alive, guys. Make it alive. Pay attention to it. Wherever there is a nice yard, there's what? A land. A, a landscaper. Wherever there is satisfaction, there's a landscaper. Mm -hmm. There's a, 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 hus a, a husbandman for that, for that thing. You understand? Yeah, guys. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? So I want you to take what I'm saying and run with it. I got to finish this class. <laughs> but she set it off. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we choose amongst what's already, what we already see instead of creating what we don't see. Come on, guys, create what you don't see. Create what you don't see. You don't see it out there, but you see it in here. Mm -hmm. When Sylvia, when you don't see it out there, because see, doors are opening for you. So you have to listen to what I'm saying, Sylvia, because you're about to move into something. Uh, ministry needs what you have, but it's, it's so much game out there right now. And you're watching the foolishness that's happening. A lot of the major ones are, are getting caught up in stuff. And we got to pray for them. But it's so much game out there, Sylvia. So now you got to, whatever you don't see out there, you got to see it in here. And you got to pay attention to it. We can't worry about those who are getting caught up in stuff. We got to pray for them. But it's so much stuff you, you see in here that you don't see out there. So you got to pay attention to it. You got to pay attention to it. You got to pay attention to it. And when you pay attention, it comes alive. It, it comes alive. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, lady. Whatever you pay attention to lives, whether it's good or bad. You could pay attention to it with, with a doubtful mind, or you could pay attention with expectancy. And when you pay attention to whatever you see within, it comes alive. Every nice yard has a landscaper. Consistent worry has a landscaper. When people pay attention to doubt, worry will be their soul tie. It's not a generational curse. It's a generational attention. See, God is too incredible to let a curse just follow you all the days of your life. Mm -hmm. The thing is, we're training people on what to pay attention to, and that junk stays alive. It's not a matter of a curse following you for generations. It's we train people how to look at stuff. Mm -hmm. We train our offspring on what to look at. We transfer our fear. And when you transfer a bad habit, the curse continues. It's not the curse. It's the bad habit that we train. People see us look out the window all the time. And whenever there's a window, they keep looking out of it. Why? Because my daddy looked out the window. And before you know it, they begin to pay attention to the stuff you paid attention to. And all of those things stay alive. Mm -hmm. So this is the season where you need to pay attention to something different. So what, before I get out of here, how many of you are paying attention to power. You're paying attention to greatness. You're paying attention to your mystery. You're paying attention to your power and your purpose and your potential. Because whatever you pay attention to, there is a nice yard, whether it's good or bad. Now I got to get with my client because she's paying for this and y'all going to have to pay her back. Okay. Much love. Peace to you.